Okay, so I am just um, trying to get some base uh, paint on these pages. This is for the horse um, art journal that I'm going to be gifting. Sorry, I have a cold. I woke up this morning with a cold. Hopefully my mic picks this up okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of the white space. And... Uh, I'll come back and cover it with um, different colors. I can't remember which one I put on that. Probably a pink or a blue. Uh, and that was the cardstock I use. It's like a 110 pound paper. I like really thick kind of printer paper. Uh, but any cardstock is good. Um, I have recently went back to my 12 by 12 paper cardstock because every time I went to the craft store, I would buy the decorative cardstock. <laughs> So I have a whole stack from years ago. Uh, so I kind of, I paint over the pages that I would never use. And then uh, I like to paint on the white side of it and leave the decorative side as is and add to some of the journals. Yep, see, I went over with pink. I really like that, making it really thick and then um, drawing into it. And even the really thick parts kind of smush down and make little splotches, which is pretty neat. Let's see. So this was like 45 minutes long and I just doubled the speed. Because, I don't know, I prefer really fast videos. Um, I like to, to see what's going on and then I go in and try to do it from what I understood of the video. Um, so yeah, just pulling up some colors. I'm going to try to get both sides um, covered in some color. Uh, the girl that I'm giving it to, she did say that she likes um, pink and black, which is awesome because I do too. <laughs> of course, I like all the colors, so... <laughs> Oh, and here I'm trying to explain, like, if I if I do a different color from one half of it versus the other half, or, like, kind of go over halfway, then whenever I tear down the center of the page, uh, either the top or the bottom of that page will be a different color. It's, like, really hard to explain for some reason. It's an easy concept, but, like, really hard to explain. Anyways, I like that effect when it does that. Oh, and that's like a cake scraper tool, and uh, it came in a whole pack of like 10 of them. There's different little uh, decoration things on the side, and I just scrape it in there, and it leaves the lines or whatever. I think I'm talking about that same thing where I ripped the page, and part of it is a different design. And a lot of times when I do the white, I'm just kind of trying to pull up the colors that are on the plate. I feel like they show better um, when you put white on it and try to pull them up. <laughs> I'm explaining it again. I talked a lot in this video. I wish my, my mic was working so I didn't have to go back over it. But speeding it up, I don't know. I like my videos a little bit fast or not super long. But, uh, <laughs> the washing machine's going. It's like vibrating over here at the bookshelf. So hopefully that doesn't come through in the mic. <laughs> I really like that color. I like the transparency of the, like, the yellows and oranges. Is that transparent? Translucent? Dang it. I did look it up and I knew it there for a little bit. Now I forgot again. I want to say it's translucent. Transparent is, like, totally clear. I'm about to look it up again. You see that one is translucent. <laughs> And then with the um, 
extra paint on those little scraper tools I just put on it in the next page I'll probably be painting that one in a in a second I really like doing the like the little squares which is just um, you know taking the scraper tool and like hitting it down like you're making dots downward I love how those scraper tools are, are pretty wide yeah I like that effect right there and then this one, I wasn't sure if it would really show up because it's like pink on pink, basically. But it did. It was okay. And some layers down. I don't want to get too like detailed with it. Yeah, I love doing that. It's just like simple little movements, but it it looks really neat. And then once you like tear the paper down even more, it looks neater. <laughs> you know, like a master board, like when you put a bunch of stuff on a piece of paper and then you tear it down and it looks like a little piece of art. Uh, versus how it would look if you just left it like a big whole page. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so these little dots on the left side are from whenever I used the scraper tool. And I just like, yeah, scraped it off on there. But they kind of sat and dried for, I don't know, a minute. And then whenever I took the brayer over top of them, it looks like it just mushed them flat instead of spread it out or whatever. And I thought it was pretty neat. Um, I'm not sure I'm disciplined enough to to do that on purpose in my art. <laughs> uh, you know, like put paint down, let it dry a little bit, and then go over it, and maybe it'll like smush it down. You can probably get some pretty cool effects like that. But I did it um, on these pages a few times, and I just thought it was, it was neat. I think I did uh, about 20, not 20, about, I don't know how many pages. Uh, I, I usually put about 15, 16, 17 pages in one signature of my journals. So the one signature journals usually have about 16 pages. Uh, but I, a lot of them I do add on like flips. So not like super complicated flips, literally a piece of paper folded over, glued on there, and then like sewn or whatever. But... I just, I don't want it too thick, uh, but I do want it thick. <laughs> uh, in this piece right here, there was kind of like a white space in that area. So I was just like, I'm just going to put some pink on there. And I just, like, if, if I think about it, then I usually just do it. I like the colors enough. And the jelly plate technique is so, like, it's, you can't mess it up. And if you do, you just add more. That's why I love it. That uh, you just can't really mess up unless you, you know, of course, get your paper stuck on there. And it's ripping all over the place. That's probably the only way you can mess up. But that's fixable, too. Maybe not the paper. <laughs> but getting the paper off the jelly plate. Anyways. Pretty pink. I love that color. Like neon pink. And just simple lines. And it ends up 
looking neat. To me, it looks neat. It's like one of a kind marks. You can't you can't really remake the exact marks. And I just think it's really unique. And it's endless possibilities. You make like a bajillion journals and none of them are going to be exactly the same. Like ever. So I just, I think that's pretty cool. And it's so much fun making them. I mean, this is literally therapy for me doing that. But I am kind of like a, a habit kind of person. Oh, like it did this. And there, just smushed the paint down. Because it's like almost all the way dry. And I just thought it was really cool. But I, like I twist my hair. I twirl my hair. And I've done it since I was a kid. I popped my knuckles uh, and joints. I've done that since I was a kid. So I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know if there's like an actual word for it or whatever. Uh, but I have it. Um, just do it over and over every day. Me saying that out loud makes me think I have a problem. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm good. I'm normal-ish. And I like doing, like, squiggly lines. I'm just, like, messed up writing type stuff. Really neat. I'd like to learn how to write words, but you'd have to write it backwards. <laughs> um, which I know I could learn. I'm just lazy. Maybe I should just, or I could write it and, or I could print it out backwards and then put it under my jelly plate and then it'll be on the other side and I can see through the jelly plate and write it backwards. Hmm. We will see. I'm not sure if this whole video is jelly printing. Ooh, I like that. I don't think so. I think I have some at the end of this video where I'm ripping pages because I tried to show pretty much everything. I know I showed um, uh, one of the signatures, ripping and putting together one of the signatures. And then I'm pretty sure I did, I, yeah, I did the second one off camera. So, I mean, this is going to be so long, like this right here. Hopefully it's not too boring. <laughs> there it is. And some more of that squishing down the paint. Looking... pink and yellow or like pink and orange together <clears throat> and it turns like an orangey color that's pretty and right now the journal I did started um, to add, so I have all the pages made, the two signatures, and I've started to add uh, for the short pages, adding and making them longer, and I put a bunch of flips in there, which is just folded paper. And so hopefully it's not going to get too thick and heavy. I think I need to calm down a bit on adding that. Um, too many extra pages, I guess you could say. But after I'm done with this voiceover, I'll go, um, maybe make a video of what I got so far with it.
If I do another long video, I'll probably go through it and, like, cut out a bunch of, like, stuff that isn't, like, doesn't show what's happening. So, I guess now I'm just going back and making sure both sides are covered with paint. Uh, I mean, I used the brayer to kind of clean it off on the one side, but that's not enough for me for a finished page. So I'll go back over it and just put a thin layer of paint. And then once both sides are covered with a somewhat interesting, uh, painty colors, uh, then I'm pretty much done. I'll let them dry and then I'll go back out and start ripping them. And I don't try to rip them exactly down the center. Some of them I do, but some I want to do with smaller strips and wider strips and then the center. And I just try to be a bit random with it, but consistently random, if that makes sense. Maybe that's an oxymoron. I don't know. I do a long jelly session I could probably speed just the jelly printing part up a bit more I mean it's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> oh yeah me done Alright, and see that page that I was working on that has like the scrap paint? I'll break that down and make a, put it, make pages. So now I'm just going to rip down the pages. I do like doing it the long ways because I kind of like a longer book or being able to, if I want it shorter, just fold the page over. Uh, but doing it the other way, you could kind of get three pages out of it, but they're going to be short pages that you would add on to later. And I don't think these are like all the way dry, but, oh, and that one was, so I didn't want it super wide. So those are going to be like flip pages down. I'll cut that, uh, make a little divot in there and, um, Add paper on that eventually and it'll be like you just flip the page up oh why am I flipping it back I don't know I'm trying to explain something but I usually get all the pages um torn oh I'm going that way uh torn and then I'll fold them over but I think I was just explaining what I was doing Like adding a piece of paper on there to make it longer. Yeah, punching out a decorative trim. And I just eyeball it. Um, for the most part, I get it what looks to me to be straight. <laughs> That one would have like a flip on the back side. And I do like, like whenever I do this, I'm going to make, um, where you flip it up. I don't like putting them on the bottom because if you're holding, I guess I could, but to me, I don't like the flips on the bottom where you would pull from the top and flip it down. I feel like when you open it up to, you know, flip it out, it should go up. 
like you're opening it like an envelope flap would go up. Uh, to me, it just seems right. So I kind of choose about how long I'm going to want the journal and then I just fold the pages over to make it about that length. Oh, yeah, it's stuck a little bit. And then I'm trying to do, uh, mix up the colors a little bit. Of course, this one is mostly pink. I mean, there's some red in there because of the, I guess, the pink and the orange colors. Oh, that's okay. Do like a pop of yellow. Wonder if I'm all fold that over. Yeah. And some of them I end up just cutting the tab off. And I was just okay, so there I was just brainstorming. Like whenever I add a page, like extend the page. If I should put a piece of paper there to transition it, or I feel like the sewing does just fine with the transition from one paper to another paper whenever I try to make the papers longer. I can't remember what I was talking about before that. And see, so some of the pages are really short but you just add another piece of paper on there that's one signature so here is just like a about a two and a half minute little speed up of some extra pages that I jelly printed So this will be the end of the video after I get done doing the, the jelly print in there. And then I will um, have a part two, which I already have, I think about a 16 minute video show on what I've gotten so far and how I made some of the pages. Uh, but I'm not gonna add on the, add it on to the end of this one. I'll just uh, start another part. I don't know how many parts I'm gonna have, but I do go through several um, stages of, you know, um, sewing and then adding color and then maybe some stamping and then maybe some sewing and then tags and things like that. So I got several more steps to go through, uh, before I'm done with this one. And this one probably will be a little bit more decorated than usual, um, because it is like a, it's a, you know, personal gift, uh, Anyways, yeah, so I had some um, 12 by 12 cardstock and, and some of the papers I don't like, so I'm just going to jelly print both sides. <clears throat> and then uh, for the ones that have a nice decoration on one side, or I think is nice, I will just jelly print on the white side of that paper. So, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope everybody wants to see the part 2 video.